Hello, in this video, we're going to do an example of computing a derivative. We're going to find the derivative of the following function. So ddx means take the derivative of whatever I put here. So here we're going to write square root e to the x plus x. We're going to take the derivative of this function here. So whenever you have a square root function, uh, you can write it in another way. You have the square root of x, you can write this as x to the 1 over 2. And the reason I'm mentioning that is that's going to be our first step here because whenever you're computing derivatives of root functions like this, um, you want to write them this way because we have something called the power rule. And the power rule allows us to take the derivative of power functions such as this one. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is equal to ddx. I'll use a bracket here. Parentheses e to the x plus x. And all of this is to the 1 half power. All right, so now we're ready to take uh, the derivative of this power function. Now, this is the derivative of a composition of functions. Whenever you have the derivative of a composition, you can use something called the chain rule. The chain rule says you take the derivative of the outside, you leave it evaluated at the inside, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. So here, the inside function is e to the x plus x, and the outside function is the power function. So now I'm gonna drop the ddx, we're taking the derivative, so bring the 1 half down, leave the inside untouched, e to the x plus x, subtract 1 from the exponent. 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half, right? It's 1 half minus 1, which is 1 half minus 2 halves, which is negative 1 half. That's the power rule times the derivative of the inside function. Well, the inside function here is e to the x plus x, so the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, the derivative of x is 1. And that's pretty much it. Um, you can't do much else here. We bring this downstairs. And we can go back now to a root function. So I'll write it here. This is 1 half e to the x plus 1 over the square root of e to the x plus x. And that would be the answer in this particular problem. Um, so again, the first step is to write it uh, as a power function. Then you use the chain rule, bring down the 1 half, leave the inside untouched. Subtract 1 from the exponent, that's us using the power rule, times the derivative of the inside function, right? The inside function is e to the x plus x. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. The derivative of x is 1. Boom, there we go. We bring this downstairs, and here we are, and we can't do anything else. So that would be it. This is from one of my books, uh, Super Powered Calculus, and you can check the answer here, and you see it is actually, it is actually the correct answer, uh, as you can see here in the book. So I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check out this book. It has full solutions. Follow me on my YouTube channels, The Math Sorcerer, The Math Sorcerer Espanol, The Internet Sorcerer. Follow me on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. I think that's everything. And yeah, keep doing mathematics. Stay strong, my friends. Never give up.